So today we'll discuss Turtle trading system, which is pretty, pretty decent result. Uh, this is from Microsoft, uh, Apple, Tesla, Walmart, Amazon, HD, and, and the list just goes on. So um, this is a very famous strategy, the Turtle trading strategy. It's got lots of uh, tiny details which requires very careful assessment. So I will really, really suggest that you watch every second of this video because anything missed from this video can be uh, detrimental to this strategy as a whole. So the total trading system is kind of like conflicting information available online. So there are different interpretations of it. We don't know exactly for sure the tiniest details, like for example, in Investopedia, it's something in some other websites, it's like 20 day high, break of 20 day high and stop loss of 10 day lows. But some other place, it's like 55 days and then 20 days low. So it kind of depends on what you prefer. So this strategy for me specifically, it's my interpretation of the strategy. So you can make changes to it based on your preferences, but that's just one extra thing that caveat that I need to let you guys know to be open to adjustments to the strategy from your side as well. So let's start now. So the entire code is available to download in the description, but it's better you watch this whole video because of the tiny details that I'm going to mention in uh, this video. So uh, first of all, make sure it's version four. That's what we're going to do this strategy in. So version equals four. And then uh, I'm just going to type in the rule. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a 40 day high uh, breakout. So basically the high is greater than uh, the highest of uh, 40 day. I'm not, not going to write that because the code kind of explains that. And um, we're going to exit at 20 day lowest low, lowest low when it breaks that out. Um, and then we also have a stop loss as uh, so the stop loss will be ATR. So basically it'll be two times ATR. So basically, um, it takes the opening, the entry price, so entry price, and then uh, from that subtracts the two times ATR, and that's essentially the stop loss. So this strategy for me specifically, I like it to be long only, but it's up to you. And I like to prefer this in stocks, uh, commodities and indexes. There are certain people who are saying it doesn't seem to work anymore, the total trading system. But for me in stocks specifically, uh, it seems to work pretty well, actually. Uh, so let's start. So we'll start with the actual coding. So basically it's just strategy. I'm going to give it a name. Let's call it turtle. Um, so not to get the untitled script, all you need to do is just open and then just click on create new strategy. And then you will see a default thing. So delete all of them off and then start coding from here. Uh, so turtle overlay equals true. And then I'm going to do the buy condition. So I'm going to call it check B. So check B equals the high should be greater than the highest value. So we can use the built-in function highest of high of one. So that takes the array of the past X amount of days. Uh, and that X amount of days is 40 days. So that's our buy condition. And when do we need to sell? So check S equals when the low of that present day is lower than the lowest of the low again from the previous day, not from the present day, uh, comma 20. So basically this first condition checks if the high is greater than the highest high of the past 40 days. And the sell condition checks the whether the low is lower than the lowest of the past 20 days. So these values is 40 and 20. Again, these are my interpretations because it comes close to uh, the optimized value that I've been talking about. People who have done our course know how to optimize values. So make sure you optimize these values 40, 20, and also the ATR value as well, because there's uh, better returns by changing one of these values as well. So um, do the optimization test before you apply this strategy. Uh, so once you do the optimization, make, do, make sure you do the forward testing as well, because forward testing is crucial. Uh, in, in simple English, it's like YouTube recommends a video and if you don't click on it, that's not a good sign of the optimization. So you need to test it over untrained data. Uh, so everybody in uh, machine learning or AI or practically every single organization is using forward testing these days. So as a quantitative trader, you need to do forward testing as well. So once you do the optimization and the forward testing, and when you get a green signal from both the optimization and the forward testing, 
then is when you apply the Monte Carlo simulation. So uh, Monte Carlo simulation is like randomizing the trades. So it was used by, uh, the science behind it was used by nuclear engineers because they couldn't test a lot of stuff because of the dangers associated with nuclear tests. So what they do is that they randomize different occurrences and see whether the, the situation will arise or not. So uh, in our course, we did uh, a Monte Carlo simulation test on our strategy. So this is one of the Monte Carlo simulation tests on our strategy. So we test over, I think more than a thousand or 10,000 Monte Carlo simulations. And in that simulations, we check at least one chance. There's not even a one point, there's not even a 0.1% chance uh, that we will lose our entire capital. So we can actually see 99% uh, of the time what our annual return will be and 1% of the time what our annual return will be and the 99% of the time what our maximum drawdowns will be and 1% of the time what our maximum dot rounds, drawdowns will be. So this is a simple example of a Monte Carlo simulation. So every strategy, uh, we have to go through the optimization, forward testing and the Monte Carlo simulation. So for people who want to check out our course where we teach all these things, make sure you visit our website, Quant Program. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description box. Um, it's a pretty robust strategy where you can give out free 10 backtested strategies over the past 25 years with all the optimization, walk forward analysis and the Monte Carlo simulation. Um, the course prices are this, uh, so you can just sign up for that if you fancy uh, learning all the stuff. So now going back to our strategy, now we need to find out the ATR values for our stop loss. So again, um, they've got a built-in function for PineScript, so ATR. So we're gonna store it into a value called ATRC. So that takes the value of the ATR of the 14 periods. Now again, this ATR period of 14 can also be changed to improve the results. Again, I'm not gonna go deep into that. You just have to perform an optimization for that. Okay, so now let's track that stop loss. So we need to create the value of that ATR subtracted from the initial entry point. So I'm just gonna name this section tracking the um, ATR uh, stop loss. So this is a bit tricky because you're actually storing the previous value of the ATR, not the price of the entry uh, or whatever. You're, you're actually finding a value uh, which happened in an indicator. So it's, it's slightly more trickier than the uh, typical entry price or the exit price. So um, first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write down a few codes and then I'm gonna explain to you how it works. Um, so first one, I'm going to do a float. So float is like a, a keyword or a data type. Like for example, integer is one, two, three, four, five. Float can be decimal points. Like for example, 270.94 uh, here is like a decimal point. So anyways, we're going to declare a float uh, variable and I'm going to call it entry ATR. And I'm going to call it NA. NA is uh, not a number. And I'm going to uh, put enter. And then I'm going to give another one. And then I'm going to, do it ATR close. Now, I'm gonna to explain to you why we're gonna do that in a bit. Uh, and now this code is called, next line of code is called Terinary Conditional Operator. It's, it's slightly tricky. We've used this in the RSI Divergence Bind Script code. Uh, so it's there on our YouTube channel. You can check it out, the, um, which one is it? This one here, RSI Divergence Bind Script code. Um, I will also leave the link for that video in the description box. Uh, we use that in the RSI Divergence Spine Script Code, and the RSI Divergence is a pretty good strategy if you guys want to download that. It's there in the description of that video. So it's created like lots of good buying opportunities um, and picking up the bottoms even in this year's crash. So for example, here on 13th of June, it gave two buy signals and the market went up. And then again here on the 13th of July, the market went up. Again here, even at the high, it created a buying opportunity and the market went super up. Um, here again on the 1st of September, give another signal for the market to go up. Here again, this is on the 16th of September, there's a slight pullback to the upside. And then here again, a slight pullback to the upside. Uh, so it always kind of picks the bottom to a certain extent. So it's really good strategy if you guys wanna check it out. Again, the link is in the description if you guys want to check that out. Uh, so going back, so we're gonna create the ternary conditional operator. So I'm just gonna name the uh, ATR, so entry ATR, that's the one that we need to uh, calculate the or find. So, so whenever we create a previous value and then we make changes to it, so entry ATR used to be NA, so now we're making changes to it. So for that, we need to use uh, this 
function, this function as in like this colon and an equal to sign. So now I'm just going to write down the code and then I'm going to explain it in a bit. The ternary conditional operator is pretty much like an if else statement. So for example here, like it says expression two, if expression one is evaluated to be true, expression three otherwise. Um, so it's kind of like an if else statement, but not as simple as that. So for example, if this is true, then it's this one. And if it's not, it's this whole this one. Okay, so see this as separate as of now. So this part is separate and this part is separate. So this is expression one and expression two, and this is expression three. So if ATR close of one, that is the previous ATR close day is true, then NA, otherwise this one. So that value gets stored into the entry ATR. Okay, and now let's come to this section. So this section checks if we are in a position. So that's why the zero is there. Zero is like the current, um, the current day or the current trade. So for example, here high of one is a high of yesterday. High is the high of you know today or the previous day. So the high is the previous previous day. So it checks we're in a position. If it's in a position, then the ATRC. So ATRC is the value, the average true range that we calculated. Otherwise, it's entry ATR uh, of the previous one. So how it works is that when the code is run, which, which gets run every single time, uh, it first assigns not a number, not a number to ATR close and enter ATR. So it checks then uh, ATR close of one. So of course, ATR close of one is NA. So this expression is not true. So entry ATR is not NA. So then it goes to strategy position size. Are we in a position? So if we are in a position, then ATRC is entry ATR one. So that will give us the ATRC value of that corresponding thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to now put the entry condition. So if check B, then tab strategy dot entry long comma strategy dot long. So if this condition is met, we end along. Now this section obviously is for finding the ATR. So what I'm gonna do, you see this line here? Uh, so I'll, I'll actually plot that line as well so we can know where the stop loss is taking place. So we'll do the plot. So plot is basically, now we've got the entry ATR value. So we'll do strategy dot position underscore average underscore price, which is a built-in value to find out where, which price we entered and then minus the two times the ATR because two times the ATR is our stop loss. So two, I'm gonna do a bracket, two asterisk, uh, this one, entry ATR, because now we've got the value of that ATR. So hopefully you understood how the ternary conditional operator works. I know it's a bit hard for you guys to understand, but once you rewatch the video and how the code functions, it'll be pretty easy for you guys to understand. So I'm gonna close this bracket here and then now we've got our cell condition. So we've got the buy condition here created. Now let's do the cell condition. So if check S, I'm just gonna do enter so it can be more visible. If check S, which is a check or close is less than this thing over here. So I'm just gonna copy that, paste it over here, command V. Then tab strategy dot close ID equals long. I guess that was the ID here. So yeah, so I think hopefully this will go through. Uh, there's no errors or anything. So I is greater than the highest of one, check if S low is less than less slow of one. So everything seems to be okay. So I'm just gonna save this now. Let's call it Turtle YouTube. Yeah, let's save it. I'm just gonna remove this one. I'm gonna start with the Microsoft because that's where we started, I believe. And yeah, now I'm gonna add this to the chart, it's a daily. So I've discussed this in our previous videos. We need to change the settings to 100% equity because there's nothing wrong with doing one contract, but it's always compared to $100,000. So 
if you enter one contract at let's say $100 and it goes to $200, you made $100 profit, but $100 is compared to 100,000. So that's like point one percent or point zero one percent or whatever so it kind of adds up very small value so this kind of gives us wrong results for not only the net profit but also the drawdown and that's very risky so you need to change this to 100 percent equity so once we change it to 100 percent equity we've got the actual value so don't be worried about this whole net profit always look at the percentage numbers so even if i change this to uh, 10,000, it doesn't make much of a difference. The net profit will be different, but the percentage will be tiny, uh, tiny difference. So you can see it's 4,266. There might be rounding of the numbers or things like that. So I'm just going to increase that back to, even if you do 1,000, it's going to come out pretty much the same value. So I'm just going to go back and put this to 100,000. So make sure you do the 100% equity. And also another thing that I've been getting certain requests that, you know, um, in different time frames, the results are not the same. Of course, in different time frames, the results are not the same. This is a daily strategy. So if you do it on a weekly, the returns will be completely different. If you do it on a one hour chart, it will be completely different um, results. So be careful on which section you've actually clicked on. So now let me see whether the um, stop loss has been called so our stop loss was going below the ATR. So our condition being if check S, either that's the lowest of the 20 day, or if the close is less than that entry price. So let's find an example here. Yeah, this would be a good example here. So for instance, here, we have actually ended long uh, because it broke uh, a 40 day high, but we exited the position here because the previous day's close was below that ATR value. So this is not 20 day low. This is actually it because it closed below that uh, value. So that value here, if you look at, if you can look at that turtle YT there, you can see it's at 297.73. So the market closed below 297.73 and then we exit our position. So that's one of the advantage of ATR, uh, the one advantage of the ATR stop loss, because you can see this line here, this is where the stop loss goes. And either it's 20 day low or this stop loss here. So you can see some big uh, returns there and then lots of little bit choppiness if the market is ranging then obviously this strategy is not that good but obviously when the market is trending it makes uh, quite a decent amount of money and that's uh, why uh, turtle trading system works so the tiny details i'll come up in a bit before that i will just go through other details like for example the performance summary so a very common thing of performance summary is the average winning trade and average losing trade that has to be high normally uh, for a trend following system and you can see it's it's substantially high it's like more than three times three is to one so the ratio of average to lo average loss is actually 2.194 which is pretty good and the largest winning trade is 245 and the largest losing trade is 18.7 percent the average bars in a winning trade is 6 and 16 so this is only for microsoft so every stock it's going to change um now, obviously, the buy and hold return will be higher. And the reason why buy and hold return is higher is because um, buy and hold return is calculated from the time Microsoft Corp was listed. So at that time, it was possibly a penny stock. So it could have been like 0 0.1 or $1 or things like that. So obviously, the return of buy and hold will be higher. And you can't compare quantitative returns to buy and hold of the specific stock. You can compare buy and hold to SPY. And also you should be careful that that buy and hold return comparison should be for that specific year. So for example, if this year SPY creates 10% return, how much did your overall strategy across different stocks give you? And that's what every hedge fund is trying to do. They're trying to beat the market. By beating the market, they mean beating the SPY's annual returns or whatever your local uh, index is. So obviously you can do it across different, I think we went through the, um, most of them till HD in the beginning. So let's do the other ones, HD and then there's J and J, which only create 120%. So this is the tiny detail I'm gonna to explain to you in a bit. NVIDIA 4000, Netflix 506, uh, this is Intel 7000, Google again, just 34%. So another thing what I want you to do is that whenever you create a strategy, uh, make sure you first check in SPY and QQQ because if the strategy doesn't work in these two markets, then most likely it's rubbish. Um, so the tiny details that I said in the beginning of the video, which is extremely crucial for this strategy, is that total trading use 2% allocation. So if your account size is $100,000, uh, so it takes 2% per trade. So it's just 
risking two thousand dollars per trade so we already know where our stop loss is going to be so for example if i enter here long we know the stop loss is right there that line over here so that line over there is our maximum stop loss so we can calculate how many how many lots or how many shares you have to go in so we can decide okay i'm going to risk only two thousand dollars for this trade so when you do it across different amount of stocks so when you're doing like 20 stocks or 30 stocks then you will have a better return on your investment because one of the stocks might be in a choppy market the other one might be in a trendy market you know so uh, microsoft or apple can be going you know choppy but on the other hand which are tech stocks on the other hand maybe amazon which is a retail stock might be going kind of in a big up move so for example here on april it went through a big up move so make sure you diversify across so remember the monte carlo simulation so this one here this is an excerpt from our course so the reason why this strategy works perfectly well is that in this one we actually did across 90 stocks so people who have done this course they can uh, we, we've done i think a portfolio optimization and back testing across four strategies and all those four strategies one of the things we did was first one we did across 90 stocks um, and the other one we did it across uh, 25 stocks four position four percent position in each uh, stock so the reason why the monte carlo simulation works very well in diversified strategies is that the losses you have is like so diverse so there's no way your account will literally go through a downfall or practically it's impossible or maybe less than one percent chance that you will have an account failure so for example in this case the annual return is 10 percent um 99 chance you'll have an annual return 11 percent one percent chance you'll have so the worst case scenario you get 10 percent best case scenario you get 11 percent and the drawdowns look at the drawdowns two percent and nine percent but if you look at the drawdowns here which is one of the biggest drawback of the total trading system is the massive amount of drawdowns 55 percent um again apple 61 percent tesla all these stocks have got like a huge amount of drawdowns so drawdown is like from your peak to the bottom so if you have a hundred thousand dollars you can lose across 50 percent during this strategy so that's why you need to diversify so diversify really really uh, helps you minimize that drawdown to this kind of like single digit level so you can actually sleep better at night so you know uh, through this monte carlo simulation test and through all this quantitative process of both optimization um, back testing forward testing portfolio back testing and position sizing and monte carlo simulation you know that the worst case scenario um, is like nine percent or you add another ten percent to it 20% I can take a 20% I can sleep peacefully within a 20% but 55% or something that's not possible that's why diversification especially in quantitative based strategies is so important so the people who have done this course I really really suggest that you optimize these values um, 40 and 20 of people who haven't done the course try manually changing these values um, of the ATR it, it's going to take lots of permutation combinations because there's like three values so well, actually more than three values because there's 40, 20, 14, and there's also two times ATR. Why not 1.5 times ATR, you know? Does that provide that great result? So there are lots of permutations and combinations in it. So optimize that, do the forward testing, do the Monte Carlo simulation, and finally you can go green the strategy. So there's lots of alpha to be made in the turtle trading system. Of course, they haven't given complete information about the turtle trading system, which is understandable because there's lots of copyright infringements or whatever, but well, we can squeeze whatever information out there online and try to get the best results out there. So hope you enjoy this strategy. Uh, the complete strategy is available on the description if you guys want to download. Let us know if you have any questions. I normally respond immediately for the email, probably not on the weekends, but I'll try my best. So have a great day.